I'm back with some more Bannerlord, and today I'm going to be taking a look at another mod. This one is called Hellenic Panoply. That's how you pronounce it. So what this mod does is it adds some Greek stuff to the game. So let's jump in and take a look. So we're in the game now, and as you can see, we dropped in in the usual spot with the Southern Empire. If we zoom out... Oh no, that's terrifying. We... We have a little bit of a banner bug here. <laughs> but you'll notice in the bottom left of the map, there's this new area with these new kingdoms and factions added in. I thought this was pretty cool because it works in addition with the base games. So you still have all your base game stuff with the additional Greek stuff now, rather than overwriting the entire game. So if we come down here, you can see they have all their own um, towns yeah, there's also one here, but if you angle the map, you can't really see it, so you've got to turn it slightly. So you can see there's six key towns, but actually it's split into three kingdoms. So these two towns be here belong to the same kingdom, these two belong to the same kingdom, and these two belong to the same kingdom. And if we take a look at the kingdoms list, you can see we have the Idrisian colonies, the Mimosian, Mimosian colonies, the Permidian colonies. If we take a look at each one, you can see these are the um, towns they own. They own a castle. They're at war with the other colonies. Here we've got another one of the colonies. It's at war with the other one. So it, it's it's kind of three colonies in a triple threat sort of thing. They're all they're all out to get each other. Uh, here you can see the other colony then. So if we take a look at the troop trees now, you'll see in the culture there will be three new cultures. You've got the Shirdan, the Pel Pelaskia. Pelasgia and the Dendra. I mean, as the usual warning, I've probably butchered half of these names. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm pronouncing them right or not. But if we take a look at each one, we'll start off with the Shirdan. You can see they have their own troop tree. So this is the default Shirdan uh, troop tree. We start off with the mil Militia Peltast. And you can see the assets. It has the um, Greek designed armor. And then it's split into two uh, sections. So you've got your Peltast. This would be your um, ranged. You can see he gains a hat. <laughs> but has a spear, a shield, and some javelins. And then down here, he gets a stronger hat. <laughs> but again, similar spear, shield, and some javelins. Then we've got some ranged, uh, some archers. And as you can see, as they go through the different archers, they get slightly better equipment each time, better bows, stuff like that. Um, the armor, though, it's, it's the same basic armor, it looks like. And then down the other side of the troop tree, we got the militia hoplite, which again, spear, the shield, a nice big bronze Greek shield, similar body armor. And then you can choose to go down the hoplite line then. And here, this is, so this would be your, this is your spear infantry. They do have one-handed, I suppose, for if it gets too close. And, and you can see the armor gets heavier. You got the nice bronze plate in here. This armor looks pretty good with the helmet, the body armor, the gauntlets. You can see it's pretty well designed. And then we go down a tier again, and, and again, even heavily armoured. Good design on the helmet. And then down the other side of the troop tree, we have... Probably won't even attempt to say that. <laughs> but it's similar to the Hopley. And if we go down the tiers again, you can see the armour gets heavier as we go through. Um, weirdly enough though, so this troop tree is the, similar to this one in the sense that they have a spear, a shield, and a sword with the heavy armor. And if we compare it to the skills of this one, this one is actually better in one-handed polearm and same athletics. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this line is when you've got this troop. And then here we have the other Sheridan line. This is the cavalry line. You can see it's a Lancer cavalry. We can go down the tiers. It gets heavily armoured. 
at least with the cavalry, you can see the bottom half of the soldier as well. So you can see the leg armor and design. And you can see it's just a generic lancer. And then down the other line then, we have ranged uh, cavalry. So if we take a look at the other troop tree now, you can see it is the exact same layout as the other faction. It, it looks like um, it's the same design for each of the three factions. It's just we now have Greeks in the game. And it's the same with the cavalry. It looks like that's the same as well. So yeah, so we take a look at the third one. And again, it's um, similar to the other ones. It is a basically copy and paste of the three troop trees. So what I think they've done in this situation is we have three different cultures that have the same troops but with different names. I suppose it's to um, split the three factions with their own culture. I suppose that's the design in behind it. Okay, so I'm now in a battle. I've given myself 250 of the finest hoplites. Look at them all. You can see the helmets. The helmets actually vary. They have a selection of helmets to um, choose from. It's the same with the chest plate. You'll notice uh, some of them have the uh, silver. Some have the bronze looking ones. It's just some slight, like, the color variations. It's just some slight differences in the designs of the armor, which I thought was pretty cool. Like here. Okay, I'm... I'm Looking at a man's hairy legs. Um, didn't think I'd be doing that today. But you can see there's no thigh guard on the one. But then this guy has two thigh guards. But then he's wearing two sandals. And this one has a uh, slight protection over the one foot. It's just variations like that which I thought were pretty cool. And if we take a look at the other side. You can see they have all these custom shields. And oh... We're a fool. There I was rambling about what's the difference between those two, the Hoplites and the other ones. The other ones are pikemen. Oh, man. Well, we look like a bit of an idiot. I suppose that's what happens when you don't know your Greek words, eh? <laughs> so you got the Hoplites with the spears, and the others were pikes. But you can see they have all these custom shields, which are pretty cool looking. They've got some ranged as well. And then here you've got the cavalry. So now that we're back here, right? Let's order a shield wall. A hoplite shield wall. Let's see what we got here, lads. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And now that we can see the enemy, now that they've assembled formation... You can see all the pikes. They have a lot of pikes in the front. So if they form a shield wall, that's a pretty big shield wall. So that was just a quick look into the Hellenic mod. Um, I thought it was a cool addition. The idea that it adds to the base game with their own mini section and area. Rather than overwriting and making a full... It would be nice to see a full Greek overhaul at some point. But I just thought this one was nice that you still keep your base game. I recommend checking it out if you're interested in the Greeks. But that's it for this video. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.